So okay, while, so while waiting for the others, it's now around 6 o'clock. Maybe you? we can just very Hi, briefly... Yeah, in, how are you? Uh, while waiting for the others, uh, let us welcome each and every one. Welcome, guys. Uh, this is uh, a, just a short get-together just to give you an idea of what uh, we plan and intend to do. Uh, let me just introduce myself first. I'm Manny Lin. I'm not yet 65. I'm still uh, <laughs> trying my very best to be active as soon as possible. Yeah, uh, I'll be soon, uh, sooner or later retiring. I'm, I'm a teacher by profession, an educator, and uh, I'm still involved in some uh, teaching of college students and even one-on-one -on -one tutorials and even getting to know high schoolers and so forth. Yeah. So uh, I've been involved uh, with uh, education for almost more than 30 years of my life and it has been a pleasure helping other uh, younger students, the younger generation. So uh, I'd like to uh, help them out. So we can, we can start to introduce ourselves, maybe briefly three to four minutes each. Yeah? August, would you like to introduce yourself? Okay, I, my name is August Chow. I, I go to Blessed Trinity Parish and uh, I'm retired. Okay. I'm five years old, yeah? And uh, before my retirement, I work for the insurance industry. Uh, so hi, hi. Years. Good evening. Good evening. Right. And uh, so um, that's it for me. Okay, the next one will be uh, Rene. I'm just welcoming Joe Angeles here. Okay. Hi guys. Hi, yes. How are you Hi. guys? Nice yeah. to see you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, would you like to introduce yourself very briefly, Rene? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm Rene and Brad. Uh, you know, I have been, I think, I might be the oldest in the group. <laughs> I'm now 75, that's why I got my booster shot this afternoon. <laughs> no, I, I was asked too. So I wasn't there, so I was, I was speaking easy anyway. Anyway, I have Joe Andrews involved, so I just... <laughs> uh, we, both of us were met, are members of the men's group of the our parish, which is Prince uh, of Peace. And the rest that they invited were members of the men's group. But unfortunately, I don't know what happened. Even our coordinator, I think, is out of the country, so he was able to reply. So, this is an alternative way of, you know, continuing what we've been doing in the past. So, go ahead. August. Okay, uh, okay, I think the next one on my screen uh, is Peter, right? Peter, want to say a few words about you, yourself? Sure. Uh, yeah, I'm a member of Blessed Trinity Parish also. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a retired teacher and uh, taught for about, I guess, 30 years, and I've been retired for 10 years, and, um, yeah, wow. I've been in... Go ahead. And, uh, been involved with, uh, with uh, the Knights of Columbus, so it's um, a good parish to be at. You meet lots of great people, and, um, I'm really happy to be there. So, um, yeah, that's me. Okay, thank you, Peter. May, may I have a suggestion because we're going to have more people signing in, so maybe we can mute ourselves, and only the one which talk can unmute yourself. How's that? So I guess that to improve the sound quality. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so, uh, thank you, Peter. Uh, I'm also a, a member welcome. of Place of Columbus too. I forget to mention. Okay, so the next one on my screen is David. 
Okay. <clears throat> uh, my name is David. I'm uh, uh, the Blessed Trinity Church RCIA with uh, August together. Um, I retired and uh, I worked for uh, Tangerine in the bank uh, for 15 years and now it's over. Thank you. Thank you, David. Okay, the next one will be uh, Jan. Yeah, my name is uh, Jan Nowakowski and uh, I'm also one of them who was tapped at the 8 o'clock mass in Blessed Trinity. Uh, I have a background in, in business. I was for many years working with a multinational company and then uh, for the last, well, until I reti retired, I had my own company. I was in timber business. Um, and I'm also a Knight of Columbus, uh, uh, et cetera. So, and I think I may be the second oldest one here. Yeah. I am turning <laughs> 75 <laughs> in a few months time. <laughs> Does it reflect in the white hair though? <laughs> It's all white hair, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. I don't hear my wife. She's probably in the other room. She didn't hear about that. <laughs> okay, thank you, John. And then the next one is uh, Joe. Joe? Uh, yes. Yeah. Hi, nice to see you guys. Okay, uh, I'm Joe Angelis, and uh, I'm from the Philippines. Oh, and my wow. parish church here is uh, in Scarborough, Prince of Peace Church. Okay. And I've been there for a long, long time. I'm also a member of the Knights of Columbus. And uh, I'm an avid fan of the Blue Jays and, of <laughs> course, the Maple Leaf. And uh, uh, my experience, I've been working with the uh, federal government. I'm also okay. retired. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I'm the oldest one with you guys here. I'm already <laughs> 70. 78 coming. You're you're so, wearing a cap, so yeah. we can't see your yeah, hair very well. I'm covering me. <laughs> <laughs> this is That's it. good. Yeah. Uh, well, I enjoyed uh, life. Uh, my hobby is reading most of the time, and of course, going to church and uh, just doing the right thing. And uh, I'm glad that we have here the immense group and. Uh, because of this COVID, I really missed the uh, meeting. And uh, what can we do? We have to uh, work it out as the best as we can. And uh, hopefully we could uh, get together sometimes when uh, this uh, pandemic will be over. And uh, mm -hmm. that's it. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, okay, thank, Joe, thank you, welcome. Joe. Yeah, you're not the only Filipino, by the way. We have, uh, I think, Rene and myself, we are all, all, both Filipinos. Oh, okay. <laughs> And and That's also for, for, for Rene, you are not the oldest group in this person now. In this, yeah, group. Like, yeah, yeah. You, you, so, you just uh, you just don't win the prize. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're the third runner-up. Third yeah. runner-up. Even <laughs> myself is so. Okay, uh, I guess for those who have already introduced yourself, maybe you can mute yourself so that we can improve the quality. So the next one on my screen is Gus. Okay, Gus, you want to say a few words about you and, uh, you know, and then, uh, and by the way, Gus and I, we are, we are relatives. Okay, no problem. <laughs> well, uh, my name is Gus, uh, Gus Chow, as uh, August uh, introduced me, uh, is my the cousin. Uh, majority of my the working history is primarily, was primarily in the Pacific Rim area. I just retired about two and a half years ago. Before the COVID, I have the opportunity to travel the, around in Europe and uh, right now. Uh, well, I'm in Canada, but not in the Pacific coast. <laughs> so um, this is a very good opportunity to begin to know some friends in, the, uh, in Canada. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have retired already, by the way. Yeah, that's it. Okay, thank you, Gus. Uh, the next one is uh, Andrew. Oh, hi. Uh, my name is Andrew Kong. Uh, I just joined because I had some problems uh, setting up my Zoom and uh, I get, get a little mix up there. But anyway, I'm successful now. Okay, my, my, as I said, my name is Andrew Kong. Uh, 
uh, I'm retired now. I used to work as an engineer. Um, I'm retired for seven years now. Uh, is there anything that I need to say? <laughs> 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 yeah, I guess that's it. And unless there is some other things that I'm missing. No, well, that's good. Okay, all right. So, if I miss anyone, uh, uh, many. Do you know whether Stephen is is? Uh, yeah, Stephen. Uh, I'm not sure whether Stephen is here. Would you like to introduce yourself, Stephen? Yeah, you he probably, stepped. yeah, I probably stepped up. So if, did everyone introduce themselves? I uh, think so. I think so. No. I, I think so. Know. Yeah. I think okay. So, so uh, welcome everyone. Uh, we're a family now. We have uh, at least uh, finished at least more than a year and a half of COVID. <laughs> I think we're going into our second year, fastly. Uh, and uh, really the purpose of this get together and series of get togethers is really to uh, be able to share our experiences and uh, at least uh, reach out to our friends uh, who can uh, at least also be a part of our group we will try our very best to impart the importance of uh, really trying to live our life well and it's not that easy, really. I mean, I was uh, reading through some of the materials also of uh, a famous uh, uh, writer. Uh, I think uh, uh, Stephen knows uh, this uh, writer very well. But, uh, his uh, writings were actually published in uh, Purpose of Life. That's a st I think the title was Purpose of Life. Uh, Rick Warren, if you've heard of him. Rick Warren is a very uh, interesting guy. He had uh, published a, a very interesting uh, piece of uh, reading material, which uh, I think covers uh, the importance of living life to its fullest. And let me just uh, give you a very short uh, uh, background of uh, the material. Uh, it's actually meant to uh, go through uh, what we have experienced in life. So for those of you who have not uh, heard or read about him, uh, his uh, uh, strategy was to really impart the knowledge and to be really giving some experience on how to establish the purpose of life. So. Uh, this uh, series of get-togethers that we are planning to let me just show you a brief uh, set of powerpoint slides if you don't mind i'll try to uh, share it with you in a short while just give me uh, at least a few moments here to share it okay the purpose really of this get together is to uh, help us all appreciate and strengthen our uh, relationship with uh, our creator, God himself, okay? So if you uh, try to think about it, our life uh, is uh, varied. We have different cultures, uh, different uh, sets of uh, experiences, and uh, we have uh, our different strengths and weaknesses. But the important thing is that we come from our creator, okay? And that's something that we have to keep in mind. So the, the most uh, important point that we have to stress throughout our life is how we closely associated or affiliated with our creator. And uh, no, no matter what happens to us, he will be with us until the end. So I'd like to just stress on this point so that you would know more or less the purpose and the objective of this series of uh, meetings that we will have. We, we are thinking of having this on a regular basis, monthly, hopefully, maybe starting next year, uh, if at all we're, we're lucky. So uh, let me just share with you why we have to focus on our relationship with our Lord, our, our Creator. 
and that is uh, divine filiation okay let me just uh, show you the next uh, slide here because uh, the reality is that uh, our lord is uh, giving us the uh, foundation of our whole life and existence he is the foundation so when we relate to him when we when we have this divine filiation it's a joyful truth that establishes our relationship with God, our Creator, who is also our everlasting Father. Okay? Through divine filiation, we are truly children of God. We can really say to ourselves that this is something that has gifted us. It's a gift that uh, He gave us, and He's the first cause of our existence. He created us in His own image and likeness, and each human being, no matter what, regardless of age, uh, culture, uh, where he came from, is created by God. And he actually comes from his parents as the secondary cause. They are just the ones forming our human body. Spiritually, we belong to God completely. And uh, because of his merciful love, we are his children. This is the reality. That's why no matter what, in your uh, life, when you started your life, maybe uh, had some of your links with your family and your community, it all uh, varies, but there is one common denominator, which is our Lord's uh, filiation. So what are the consequences of divine filiation? All throughout this series of get-togethers, we can show really some slides and we can also have some uh, video link so that you can also appreciate what we are supposed to uh, achieve here. There are at least four major consequences, uh, I think, and this, this has out outlined it. Uh, not all of them uh, <clears throat> are easily understandable, but let's, let's go through it very, very slowly. I, uh, I just uh, uh, pondered upon it and add more details as uh, I uh, work it out. First of all, the uh, cause of serenity and humility is a consequence of divine filiation. Second, we also experience joy, happiness, and cheerfulness. Third, we are fraternizing, or at least linking up with our uh, family and society. And the fourth is that we will be uh, having a spiritual childhood as a consequence of divine filiation. We will learn how to be more children of God if we put this, put it in our uh, understanding. So let me just talk about serenity and humility very briefly, okay? If we leave our divine filiation, all the events of our life acquire the sense of something loved or permitted by our Father God. There is a saying, omnia in bonum. Everything is for the good. So no matter what, whether we experience uh, difficulty, we experience sadness, we experience uh, challenges in life, they are all there for us to be able to uh, understand how our Lord gives us that uh, sense of belonging. Okay, And we should be able to thank Him for everything that we consider positive. And we will abandon ourselves in His loving arms, even in the face of difficulties and contradictions. As a child who trusts his father, accepts the pain caused by an injection, even though he does not understand the cure of his illness in this way. Okay, So it's very important that we behave like children. Let's be serene and humble. Uh, I just saw my grandchild a few days back and when I was holding his hand, uh, he just wanted to play around with my hand as well. And uh, he wanted to giggle and say something, you know. These are, these are words that really come from children who are really affiliated. And, and uh, there is a sense of affiliation. So we will have to learn more what to talk about, okay? So even in our misery, we will make, uh, he will make us humble and this will lead us to greater recourse to our Lord as children turn to their father. So in this way, with God's fortitude, all our conduct will be more and more in agreement with the fact that we are his children. That's why we become serene and humble. 
next the next consequence is joy happiness and cheerfulness joy happiness and cheerfulness are necessary consequences of our divine filiation of knowing that our father god loves us with a love of predilection that he holds us up and helps us and forgives us no matter what so let us always be joyful happy and cheerful sowers of peace and joy words have not yet been invented to express all that one feels in the heart and will when one knows oneself to be a child of god let's always be going back to our childhood days when we just hang on to our father god and uh, just to let him do the rest now next consequence is the consequence of fraternity to behave as children of god is to treat each and every single individual as part of our family and as our brothers and sisters even if though those who, who are not really close to us and affiliated to us the important thing is we have to uh, go and reach out we cannot be prejudiced against uh, each other so we have to try our very best to help everyone with the justice and charity of our redeemer there's only one race of men the race of the children of god so being children of god transforms us into something that goes far beyond our being people who merely put up with each other we are friends who like jesus give our lives for each other when heroism is needed and through our ordinary lives next uh, the consequence of spiritual childhood this is going back to our childhood days okay what is spiritual childhood spiritual childhood is a way of living divine filiation which leads to a christian who abandon himself or herself to the divine providence and to feel and act as a small child before the father god the more we act as children the better we shall live our divine filiation so spiritual childhood is not spiritual foolishness or flabbiness it is a sane and forceful way which due to its difficult easiness the soul must begin and continue led by the hand of god but once we know that all powerful god is our father we trust him absolutely as a small child trusts his father absolutely we attribute our achievements and successes to the power and the care of our father we become humble knowing that we are very little we let ourselves be guided and led we submit our understanding we are docile conscious that unless you become like little children you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven so a spiritual childhood makes us daring because we trust not in our own strength but in that of our father god not in our own talents but in the divine omnipotence let's go back to the holy family especially our mother mary and uh, she will surely be helping us to be good children of god and she's the shortcut for us to return to heaven so all of this uh, are part of our strategy and objective we would like to share and discuss uh, several key points that we can talk about all throughout uh, this uh, uh, series of monthly get together hope it can uh, have this regularly we will identify first uh, the living purpose of life we will also try to develop and strengthen family and social relationships and last and most important is we have to learn virtues as well so all three points we will try to uh, cover and discuss okay i'm not just the only one who's supposed to be talking or chatting at this point but it's good to know what the objective of this uh, get togethers are so on identification and living the purpose of life as what i mentioned uh, earlier the famous writer rick warren he tried to understand and identify what his purpose in life is and uh, the important thing that we have to keep in mind is what are we here for why are we here for and uh, for whom do we live our lives so there's an importance of attaining unity of life we will have to be consistent and orderly in our life we have to educate ourselves and be spiritually formed and last and most important is we have to live our ordinary life and we have to stress the importance of work okay and uh, in uh, achieving family and developing family and, and strengthening family and social relationships we'll try to cover 
marriage, parenting, parent and child relationship, friendship and fraternity, obedience, freedom, justice, and solidarity. In the present world, there, there's, uh, there's a lot of things to be talked about, right? But it's good to have some of our views on this and uh, we'll have to learn from each other. That's the reason why we, we can also uh, cover this, this uh, area of uh, discussion. And last but not the least would be the virtues. Um, and the virtues are shown there. There are at least 10 virtues that I underline as part of the whole process of achieving uh, strengthened and divine filiation. We have to develop the, the supernatural virtues of faith, hope, and charity, chastity, cheerfulness, joy, forgiveness, fortitude, gratitude, humility, mercy, modesty, poverty, and temperance, and prudence. Okay, and uh, this is all for now. And it's good to uh, have uh, some suggestions. I'm open to anybody who can at least help out also. We will have to see for uh, for one, what are the needs of each other. And I'm sure many of you have already had some of your uh, experiences in life. So uh, I'd like to ask for uh, feedback, any suggestions, what you can uh, possibly cover. Everybody, everybody is allowed to speak out. There is no uh, uh, limitations whatsoever in this uh, get together. And, uh, many thank you so much uh, for the yes, brief you. introduction. Okay, I think the first question we would like to uh, to uh, as as you know, right now we uh, in the email we sent out, we mentioned that uh, the meeting will be monthly the last Thursday of each month from 6 o'clock to 6.45. So I guess we want to hear the feedback from everybody. Is this time okay? Um, we recognize that it won't fit everybody, right? But I guess uh, we go with the majority. So anyone wants to comment on the time? Uh, before we go to that, uh, I think most of us here are members of our respective parish men's school. In our parish, every time we meet monthly, we discuss, you know, the meaning of uh, the readings, the gospel, as it applied to our daily life. I mean, how does it apply? To it? Meaning, if we, we 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 start with that, how does the gospel, how does the readings, you know, first reading or second reading, the gospel apply to our daily life? Then it goes to what Mani had, uh, had summarized. Yeah. But the first thing first is, how does it affect our life? I mean, the gospel, the words of God? I think that's the first thing you should know. Uh, not only that, uh, me, I be, I've been a member of the Marriage Preparation Corps in a parish for over 25 years. And we, we discussed the relationship of, of parents, uh, parenting, and social life, even discussing the latest uh, the latest book of uh, John Paul the Great. I, I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's the theology of the body. Meaning, you know, uh, if you know what is the theology of the body, how does it apply to our daily life, especially to marriage couples, or those getting married, or those who are not going to marry. And the relationship of the Holy Trinity to the family, okay? because the, the Holy Trinity is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. In a family, there's the father, the mother, and the children. That's Trinity. So there are so many things that uh, you know, but we have. I guess we have to to try to to relate our daily life. To the gospel, to to the first reading or the second reading, you know, how does it apply to our life? Then we go to those virtues, which will help us achieve. Them. Sorry, others, I have to. Okay, thank you so much. I think it's uh, addition to what the many have said. I think you're talking about the the application, right? How do we apply to our daily life? So. Yeah, that's very good. I'm sure there's so many topics we can talk about. We just need to uh, do one at a time, right? Um, I guess going back to the date and time, 
uh, anyone has any comments about uh, the last Thursday from 6 to 6.45 p.m.? Or someone prefer weekend, you know, or, or I guess most of us are all retired now, so uh, theoretically we can have the meeting uh, during the daytime. Right? So, I guess we're all retired. Thursday is okay. <laughs> Or, or Peter, you want to uh, Peter, you want to have the meeting at six a.m. in the morning? Taking <laughs> <laughs> only if we have breakfast. And everyone could yeah. give you an opinion, not really an opinion, what we think applies to us. Thirty minutes may not be enough. So if we are using the timeline of thirty minutes, I think. The, the, the thing there is purely discussion and said, what do you think? What can you contribute to this group as far as our objectives are concerned? That's my, my comments. Wow, well, that's a good well, story. Yeah. Okay, for myself, uh, sometime in between, the, sometime in the afternoon is better than the uh, six of six o'clock in the afternoon because uh, usually that's an uh, <clears throat> inner time then I have to stay with the other member of the family for dinner <laughs> so that's my difficulty <laughs> okay. that's good anyone else <laughs> yes Joe. Uh, Okay, well, I'm a member of Knights of Columbus. I think some of our members here, are uh, the group and the group are also Knights of Columbus and their respective uh, council. I'm with Prince of Peace Council 9144. And uh, usually uh, we have our meeting, uh, monthly meeting on the third Thursday of the month. And uh, we started around uh, seven o'clock and we usually have that for one hour only and that's how we deal with that and uh, for the officers we usually we uh, we get ready with all the things to discuss and anything outside the topic we uh, brought it out outside the meeting so that way we could accommodate the one hour as what we're doing right so i don't know maybe in this group uh, we have to clarify first for each member if they are satisfied or if they are comfortable with that time and uh, what particular day, the time. Uh, I think it's ideal at 6 o'clock. I don't know if some of us are married and they have been going shopping with their respective wife, whatever. We don't know. So I would suggest uh, the time would be... Uh, Six o'clock, I think, is ideal, or seven o'clock, and then uh, for a time period of one hour. That's my suggestion. I don't know about the other people here. Maybe they have also ideas, good ideas, better ones. It's uh, you know acceptable to everybody. Thank you, Joe. Anyone else? Okay, John. I think I think I don't know what, what Zoom program are you are you on this free forty minutes so you have a limitation of forty minutes uh, if that's we, the one we we don't have the limitation we have the uh, extra oh hour. you have the full one okay yeah I, I'm basically available except Wednesday night Wednesday time I I won't be available but uh, okay. uh, otherwise six o'clock is fine for me and seven o'clock will also be fine for okay. me so any day throughout. Uh, the, the, from Monday to Friday, I don't think we should get into into uh, weekends because there are too many things going on. At least for me, <laughs> yeah, right. during the weekend, right? right? Yeah. So uh, yeah. I'm fine. Okay. You make the decision. <laughs> right. As you can see from the email, it's only 45 minutes. We try to limit, and it's oh, only okay. one, 45 minutes. It's, it's only once a month, also, right? Yeah, it's, only the, it's only the last Thursday. So if a month. If one month have five Thursday, it will be always the last Thursday of the month. That's fine with me. Okay. So it sounds like uh, many. Uh, I'm passing over to you. 
Yeah, that's very good. And I mean, uh, if everybody would be good with a 6 to 6.45 for the last Thursday of each month, we can have, uh, you know, this get together on a regular basis. Now, there are lots of several points that we can really cover. And uh, what I want to, to talk about maybe in the next succeeding get together is really establishing a purpose of life. And maybe we can review Rick Warren's uh, material I think there is a YouTube uh, video link that he has. In fact, I'm ready to show it to you if you have some time, but we're already 6.35 right now. I'll show it next time, next uh, meeting. Uh, we can we can discuss the purpose of life. What are we really here for? <laughs> you ask that to somebody and uh, you know we will have different answers for sure, right? Many, isn't it? It's a bit too late for some of us now. We already passed. 60 years already so purpose of life we have a, have a couple more <laughs> yeah but you'll be surprised what uh, rick warren has uh, and uh, all the other points that you mentioned there okay. yeah. shall we also talk about our next meeting you mentioned earlier about our next one is in january 2022 yes I, that's my proposal i don't know if some of you would like to have a december get together but uh, you know because it's already uh, too late uh, in the year and we will be celebrating a Christmas uh, break last week of December, right? If that's okay, I mean, we can meet up uh, January and then we, uh, let's talk about the uh, purpose of life and how, you know, we live our life. Is it okay, we, for, how, okay for everybody we take a, yeah, a break after the first meeting <laughs> and then we will uh, we convene on January 27th, that's the last Thursday. Unless you guys all I want to think, meet. Yeah? I would think that would be preferable because the last Thursday of December <laughs> turned out to be the 30th yeah. of the month. And right. uh, I believe yeah. a lot of people were actually preparing for the New Year Eve, etc., etc. Okay. Right. Good. So uh, I think it would be a good idea to uh, to uh, start the first one okay. in January. Good. Uh, and uh, also, uh, if you know of any friends, you know, who might be interested, you know, feel free to, uh, uh, as a friend, and just send an email either to Manny or to me or to Rainy or Stephen, you know, so that we just keep a record. So, uh, Manny, will you be sending out the uh, PowerPoint? Uh, the one you oh yeah, sure. Today. I'll be sending Everybody. it out uh, to uh, maybe uh, yeah. I'll, I'll send it out tonight uh, to everyone, but I don't have the email addresses of each one yet, so I'll just send I, it to you August. Yeah, so you no, can maybe. I, no, I, I will forward to you all the emails I have. Okay. I, I have most of people. Uh, yeah, okay, except then, I, I don't have Joe's email, but. No, so I. I Ward okay, Rene, you, you work. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah, I'll just send it to August, Rene, and uh, maybe Stephen. Okay. Actually, we, we, we have a few more supposed to come in as well, too, so I guess they, are busy. Yeah. they, didn't, they didn't come uh, at all. Okay. Yeah, if, so. if you have any questions or, you know, if you need uh, to, you know, give you, uh, materials as well, if you have any, please feel free to share them. This is just supposed to be a get to from each other. That's the point, yeah. Can okay. I say something? Sure, sure. Joe. I know it's already uh, close to 45 minutes. Uh, would this be uh, the meeting, the group for the men's? Uh, would this be open to any congregation or any sure. other kind of uh, religion? Sure. Yeah, we're open to everyone. Okay. I just brought this up because uh, based on my experience at the Prince of Peace last time, uh, we have somebody there who was not yet or, uh, baptized as a Catholic, and and he is interested, or he was interested to be part of this. But the thing is, it's like getting involved in our in our in our men's group. Things just went astray, and he just giving us questions and everything. And uh, for me, it was not nice. Because it seems to me that you're just trying to get in and to be part of that and to know what's going on around it. For me, it's like a spy in respect to the Catholic. 
you know, Catholic people, Catholic men, that's what we're, what we're doing, something okay, so, like that. Yeah, so let, let, we got to be very, very careful with that. Yeah, let, like let, let me just let, let me just give you a strategy which we can do. So, for example, if he's yeah, your friend, yeah. if, if he's your friend whom you invited, because it's good to be really dealing with a friend here, okay? So it's right. really up to you uh, to really lead him slowly but surely and uh, so that others would not really feel that just, he just like a spy or something like that. I think Correct, it's yeah. very it's very good to to always be beside him and uh, hand in hand if he has any questions yeah. always uh, address right. it but if uh -huh. he decides to not continue with the get together that's fine we just leave him as that, as that. but the important thing is to educate him to slowly exactly. uh, yeah yeah right. that's not, my not point also yeah that's my point to educate this person right yeah. uh, unfortunately i was not able to get acquainted with this fellow because okay. what i learned from him he comes over to our church introduce himself that he was a landed immigrant okay. from outside I, Canada. And this is where I really want him to be part of our community. Mm -hmm. And he was learning about these things, but things just went no good later on at the end of the day. Yeah. I said, well, I, I feel bad about it. That's, well, that's, why, that's why it's important to follow up and, and get their, their email address or your or their telephone yeah. number if he's your friend and then and then just do the chat regularly with, with this guy yeah uh, because it really depends on each and every one of us we're not really here to just invite them to any get together or any you know talk or whatever we are here to reach out to uh, yeah. to teach them right. educate them about faith <laughs> actually i did i did i tried yeah. to to refer that to our deacon and and mm -hmm. clarify with him and say yeah go ahead invite them and say oh okay that's what happened so there are lots of things that we can learn really from each other and i'm sure that really? all, well, yeah even if you're already yeah. uh, uh, retired or going to your 80s uh, you, you will still have to learn a lot more i mean i i, I can oh, yeah. i can, I can attest true. to that yeah exactly. yeah right I, I went into the I went into the field of education and I'm still learning right now. I I, I don't think I'm really at the peak of my career yet. <laughs> yeah. I think in this group we have two teachers here, Manny and Peter, right? Both of you are teachers, so so we can learn from you. I guess I, Manny, I was thinking that at 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 times goes on because this is an open group, right? But yes, but yes. in the sense that we only invite our friends to come in, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I suppose, you know, after a few meetings, we might want to set some very general criteria, you know, to be covered or discussed at the meeting, right? Because I guess we don't want someone to hijack an agenda due to, because only for 45 minutes, right? Yeah. So, so in fact, at every meeting, we have a, we have a set topic we want to talk about. Yeah, right? we'll just talk one one topic at a time right. and discuss so, it. And then yeah, Re right, Rene's yeah. suggestion of, you know, just maybe make, make, making at least uh, the gospel reading part of the uh, exercise. I'm not sure whether that can be done, but we'll, we'll try to see. Uh, there's about five minutes, right, uh, at the start. Mm -hmm. We'll have the application of the, of the gospel and, you know. Right. But we will have to be as practical as possible and then identify really where the, okay. where the, where the areas of, uh, right. you know, Okay. Uh, looking look at that, the clock is almost uh, six forty-five. Six forty-five. Yeah. Yeah. I suggest. Okay, uh, Jan, yeah, John. John, yeah. you have yeah. a comment. Just a fast one. Do you think it's possible to circulate the, the slides you were showing, Manny? Sure. Yes. Sure. Yes. We got it. Yeah. Same yeah. Same. Okay. Thanks. I will send it to August and Rene and and the, the guys who invited you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. I guess before you... we close, maybe we can say uh, one Hail Mary. Yeah, sure. Okay. When, when August, would you like to lead it? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. In the name of the Father, the Father, Son, and the, Son, the, Holy, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Holy Mary Mother of God, God, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Well, I will you. send the materials as soon as possible and then just send it to uh, August and Renee. Okay. okay. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank Bye. you. Okay.
Nice seeing right. you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Okay. In the oh, US. Yeah, I eat the turkey now. <laughs> <laughs> you can eat the turkey now. Okay, bye bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. So I'm sending it right now, August. <laughs>